This is going to be a quick video on NaviX. NaviX is a program add-on that we've added on as a video shortcut. It plays sports, news, TV, movies, and even music. Let's go to it now and have a look. When you open up Navi's main menu, you'll see menu options. In these menu options is our, our menuing system. The main menu has updates, favorites, browse history, next BMC. This is my BMC. I don't use it very much. I, I just don't find it useful, so I'm not going to go into any detail. Um, in favorites, this is where we keep the favorite shows that we, we want to see, whether it be news, sports, movies, or TV shows. Let's go into the NaviX portal and talk a little bit more about the menus within there. Right below me, most viewed in 24 hours. Those are the most popular shows viewed in the last day. Then right beside is most popular in the last seven days. On this screen, the most important things are search, media entries, most viewed in seven days, most viewed in 24 hour days. Latest movie uh, media entries. Let's say there's some live sport or live event on, a concert, a sport event. Let's say it's UFC. And we want to find it. And we think it's just been added to NaviX because it's live. We go into this menu and then look for the content. Right now, there's no sports that immediately comes up here. You'll see that there's 51 items on this page that can be displayed. At the bottom of the page is an indicator to go to the next page. By selecting that next page, you can see more content. Content is added on whenever come the content's in, it's added to the list. So the first is the most recent. The last page is the, the last content. You can scroll down this content and you can look for something that interests you. For example, Sky Sports. A lot of people are interested by Sky Sports uh, channel. By selecting it with your remote control, you can go out to the internet and view Sky Sports. And this is quite a good quality channel. I think these are dark players. Anyways, we're going to stop this. And we're going to add this channel to favorites. By selecting your right button, you can go add to favorites, give it a name. I usually leave it the default name that it's got. And then I select into the criteria I wish to put it into. This is a sport, it's Sky Sports. I select sports. It's there for when I want to see it later on. Let's now go back to um, our menuing system and we're going to go into most viewed content in the last 24 hours so I can explain what you're going to see there. So we're exiting out. We go back to 24 hour content and select it. What it's done is it's gone out to the internet and it's grabbed all the content that's been the most popular in the last 24 hours. Users have added this content uh, for your viewing pleasure. You'll see on the right hand side, there'll be in blue, it says updated today, yesterday, and they'll give you some idea when the last time it's been updated. We're gonna go into one of these uh, providers and have a look at their what they have to offer us. We're going to select Mr. Anyways. Mr. Anyways has 3D movies, live channels, and and uh, movies, whether they're high definition screeners, DVD rip, what have you. Let's go into live channels for a second and have a look at what Mr. Anyways adds on his channel. Mr. Anyways has many channels. He has 168 different channels that he's entered into. 
Some of these are in English, some of these are in other languages. Let's go and select Arena. I'm, I'm not familiar with that channel, but I believe it's a sports channel. And right now we're watching some sort of sporting event. I'm not sure which team this is or what league. And I think it's an Italian league. I'm not sure the channel. Let's stop it now. Let's exit out of it. Let's see. We could scroll down further and look at more channels. But um, as I've said, he's got 150, uh, 168 channels. I, I'm not going to consume our video time with this. Let's go look at his movies. Within this channel, he's got a number of movies. Um, let's go and look at Oblivion. And it's supposedly in HD. Once we select it, NaviX will go out to the internet through the Raspberry Pi, find the movie, and download it for us. And you'll see that this movie, it says that it's HD. It, it looks good, but maybe there's a better quality HD movie for this out there. You've got to remember that these HD movies are captured off of different providers out there and they can have different qualities. So let's go out and let's leave Mr. Anyway's channel. Let's select another channel. Notice they have the same movie offered, Oblivion. If we select it, we'll find that it has a nicer quality stream. Notice the screen quality is much better than the last one. We're not going to consume our time watching this movie. That's something you can do at home. If we want to add this movie to favorites so that we could watch it later. We go down, select it, add it to movies, and we could view it at another time. This concludes our viewing of NaviX. I hope you enjoy NaviX as much as we do.